The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Quiet here in the Commonwealth. It is not necessarily quiet in the Mountaineer State. I want to show you what's going on, really extending from near Parkersburg and Charleston all the way to the east into areas north of Beckley. Notice all these orange boxes here. These are severe thunderstorm warnings, okay? These uh, cells are pushing to the east southeast at a clip of around about roughly 20 to 30 miles per hour. Certainly possible that these clip Greenbrier and or Pocahontas counties in West Virginia over the next hour to hour and a half. And if they stay together, next in line could potentially be Highland, Bath, Allegheny, and maybe even Rockbridge counties. Now, the trend has been for this line to weaken as it moves to the southeast. But it also appears as though we're certainly going to have some heavier downpours and some thunder and lightning holding together enough where you may hear the storm pushing overhead, especially in Pocahontas and or Greenbrier counties in West Virginia. All right, let's show you future tracker. And again, you'll notice at midnight may start to see a couple of showers in and around Highland Bath and northern Allegheny County. Certainly seeing uh, more rain in Pocahontas County than you're probably going to see in, in Greenbrier County over the next hour or two. But notice it's decaying, it's weakening, and it's fully gone, we think, by about 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow's quiet. Tomorrow's a nice day. It's warm. It's a little breezy, but we're going to be dry under partly to at times mostly sunny skies. However, <laughs> clouds thicken as we head into Thursday night and then Friday morning. We're mostly cloudy. I think at 7 a.m. Friday, we're still dry, but later in the morning may start to see a couple of showers pushing in and then scattered showers will be the name of the games on Friday afternoon, potentially lasting into Friday evening. Could even hear a thunderstorm or two as we uh, head late Friday into Friday evening, but the chance for severe weather on Friday is indeed very low. It's higher as you head south towards the Carolinas. Let's talk a little bit more about that severe thunderstorm threat on Thursday. There could be quite a few nasty thunderstorms in the plains and also into the Midwest. For instance, right along the Ohio River Valley and along the Mississippi River Valley. On Friday, that severe thunderstorm risk heads towards the Carolinas and also into Georgia and Alabama. Again, for us, a couple of rumbles of thunder possible tonight in the Highlands. Dry Thursday, Friday we're going to be wet, but again, most of these thunderstorms at Pack and Punch Friday should stay to our south. So. What are we tracking here for the weekend? Well, Saturday looks to be really nice. Again, great news for the Blue Ridge Marathon. We're going to be mainly dry and going to have temperatures likely in the 70s. Then temperatures turn cooler as we head into Sunday. We may actually turn a little wetter on Sunday, too. I think north on Sunday, you're dry. South on Sunday, NRV south side. That's where we could see a slightly better chance for a little bit of rain by Sunday afternoon. 58 right now in Withville, still 72 at this hour. Roanoke, 69 Lynchburg, 70 in Danville. Upper 60s in Martinsville. Pretty warm here through about Thursday or Friday, and then we turn much, much colder. That's right, colder air seeps in here as we head into Sunday and Monday of next week. However, it won't take long for temperatures then to go back up by the middle of next week. So we're going to cool down for a little bit here late this week into early next week, or late this weekend into early next week, but by the middle of next week, temperatures start to go right back up again. Overnight tonight, we're mild, decreasing clouds, lows 50s and lower 60s. You're at your warmest in the NRV tomorrow. In the Highlands, you're at your coolest on Saturday with highs around 70. And in Southside, you're going to have the chance for a little bit of rain here Friday afternoon into Friday evening. I think Saturday is dry. In Lynchburg, you're at 86 Thursday, down to about 63 on Sunday, right back up to 74 on Wednesday. And across the Roanoke Valley, you're going to have the chance for some scattered showers, maybe even a stray storm Friday afternoon into Friday evening. Dry Saturday, a few showers Sunday. Early to middle parts of the next work week look to be for the most part dry, including on Earth Day, which is Monday.